graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. According to the NGC Price Guide, as of November 2023, a Kennedy half dollar from 1981 in circulated condition is worth between 60 cents and 75 cents. However, on the open market 1981D half dollars in pristine, uncirculated condition sell for as much as $2,400. NGC census shows 15 specimens in MS67 grade with single finer, while PCGS population is comprised of 33 halves with none finer. This specimen ended up selling for $552. Number 7. 1957 Proof Lincoln Cent. Graded as PR68 Ultra Cameo by NGC. According to NGC, proof set sales again nearly doubled from the previous year, but a figure of more than a million proof sets seemed to scare many in the coin business. The speculative market in such coins collapsed under the weight of overproduction, and this set was a drug on the market for the next 20 years. This immense mintage resulted in a large population of fully red gems, but most of these have little or no contrast. Cameo pieces are not rare, but ultra cameo specimens are very rare in relation to the total mintage. This ultra cameo example fetched a sum of $3,375 with buyer's fee. Number 6. 1971 D. Washington Quarter in MS-68 condition. This spectacular MS-68 specimen exhibits razor-sharp definition on all design elements and the pristine brilliant surfaces radiate vibrant mint luster on both sides. It was sold for $4,560. Number 5. 1983 Lincoln Cent. Graded as MS-68 plus red by PCGS. According to Jamie Hernandez, Due to the escalating prices of copper, late in 1982, the mint stopped producing copper Lincoln cents which weighed 3.1 grams. By 1983, the mint had already transitioned over to a new zinc alloy, as it was much cheaper to produce Lincoln cents from zinc. Zinc cents should have a weight 2.5 grams while copper cents should weigh about 3.1 grams. MS-68 specimens are scarce, while plus designated specimens are almost unheard of. PCGS reports three specimens in this high-end grade including this coin. It was sold for $4,106.25 with buyer's fee. Number 4. 1970 D. Kennedy Half Dollar. Graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, the Mint set only 1970 D. Half Dollar in superb gem grade becomes a conditionally elusive item, as most were apparently handled carelessly at the Mint and today grade. For the most part, MS-64 to MS-65 despite decades of cellophane survival. This exception boasts an attractive satiny untoned finish with far fewer marks than normal. It was sold for $5,280. Number 3. 1976 D. Washington Quarter with Double Die Obverse. Graded as MS-66 FS-101 by PCGS. Under close inspection bold doubling is evident on all obverse letterings. Bicentennial date, motto in God we trust and the liberty. Several contact marks on obverse and reverse prevent the finer grade. This MS-66 specimen ended up selling for $8,400. Number 2. 1931 S. Lincoln sent in MS-66 plus red condition. According to NGC, this issue has been a key coin in the Lincoln series since its inception, and examples were always extremely difficult to locate in circulation. Nearly the entire mintage was produced early in 1931 before the demand for additional cents simply evaporated. Most pieces remained unissued until 1935, at which time dealers and speculators were waiting to scoop them up by the roll in the bag. Fully red examples are plentiful, though they seem to suffer from spotting and staining. At the gem level, this issue is scarce. This elusive example fetched a sum of $9,281.25 with buyer's fee. Number 1. 1992 Close AM Lincoln Cent. Graded as MS64 Red and Brown by PCGS. An enticing fully red example of this highly elusive hub variety in the modern Lincoln Cent series. Satiny and bright, both sides exhibit vivid rose red color throughout. According to Jamie Hernandez, this is the only date of a non-error coin in the entire Lincoln Cent series which has a transitional design which is visible to the naked eye. This variety was very likely struck as an experimental piece or as a trial strike to determine how the new reverse would look on 1993 cents. 
Since this variety is mainly distinguishable by the letters AM of America on the reverse, it is referred to as a close AM variety. Because it is referred to as a close AM variety, many confuse it with some of the more common business strike and proof strike wide and close AM Lincoln cents which were accidentally struck in 1998, 1999 and 2000. This guide book variety representative fetched a sum of $22,800. That wraps up today's episode. If you have one of these rare coins in your possession, feel free to leave a comment and tell us how you came to own them and where you purchased them. And don't forget to hit the subscribe and like buttons. Take care.